first declare your data set to be panel go to statistics longitudinal stock panel data set up and utilities then declare data set to be panel data here you select the panel id variable in my case the bank code is the panel id variable then click on time variable and select the time variable which in my case is quarter and then my data is quarterly so i select quarterly and then click ok now our data set is declared to be panel data now to run a regression a fixed effect and a random effect regression analysis go to statistics then select longitudinal stroke panel data then linear models and then select linear regression here select your dependent variable my dependent variable is ROA or return on asset and then in this one select the independent variables I am using GDP inflation liquidity, liquidity ratio market share and credit growth as my independent variables then first of all we are going to run a random effect so we are going to leave it at random effect then click ok now these are the results for the random effect model you see the coefficients for the GDP the coefficient is positive but not significant for inflation the coefficient is positive it's significant and you can see the coefficient for all the other variables and also the p-values for all the variables now we need to store these estimation results and we'll do this by running the command estimate store this was a random effect model so store let us say re that is for random effect then click enter the, we use the same procedure to test for the fixed effect go to statistics again then select the longitudinal stroke panel data select linear models then linear regression here we had already selected the dependent variable as ROA and our independent variables we have them here but now instead of the random effect we are going to select fixed effect and then click ok these are the results the coefficients for each of the variables we also have the p values for each of the variables now we store this estimation results we run this command estimate store fixed effect now that we have stored the results for both the random effect and the fixed effect model so in order to determine which is the most appropriate model to use for your panel data we usually run the Hausmann test this we do by using the command house man then fixed effect random effect then click ok now to determine which which model is the most appropriate we check the probability chi square value this is the value and it, in this case it is 0 0.4573 and now if this value is less than 0 0.05 then we use the fixed effect model but if this value is greater than 0 0.05 then we use the random effect model now 0 0.45 is greater than 0 0.05 so in this case we are going to adopt the random effect model and 
here we had the results for our random effect model so now we are going to interpret these results just as we usually do for a linear regression model you report the coefficient value and also the p-value check if this coefficient or the coefficient is positive or negative and also check if the p-value gives you a significant effect or an insignificant effect 